Hi Pisces, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm here to do your reading for November. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind this reading might not be for you, okay? It's for somebody we don't, I don't know who. We'll find out, won't we? I concentrate on love. You may not, but I do. We'll see what happens when this is for Pisces. What does Pisces need to know? There's a little birdie singing outside my window. It's literally right there. I mean, he's right there. I wonder what he's got to say. Hmm. Hmm. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. It's in your hand. Love is in your hand, Pisces. The Ace of Cups is in your hand. It's up to you. Your wish fulfillment is in your hands. But this card is also a card of ego. It is. It is. We have a man. that has an opportunity to offer love. <laughs> he may fear that he's not going to be received very well. There could be some conflict here or, you know, maybe he's just thinking about it, watching another person. This right here is kind of like behind the scenes observation. Right? I'm observing you from behind the scenes. Not communicating. Holding on to that offer. Holding it. Because of ego, perhaps. A fear of rejection, may maybe. But this is communication. Honesty. Truth. And power. Power. Ooh, coming out of ego. Yay. This is about, I don't have nothing to prove anymore. It's not about proving myself. It's about being happy. All I want is happiness. Mm. The tower reversed. Fear of sacrifice. Fear of rejection, it looks like to me. Fear of rejection. Fear of not being able to build something strong or rebuild the foundation. But this is about giving and receiving. You get what you give, right? You get what you give. Mm. Somebody may be wanting to go back or to leave a situation. It could go either way with the Eight of Cups. There's been some emotional disappointment here that really hurt. There's been a lot of hurt. There has been a lot of hurt here. Ooh, 
Maybe there was even a third party situation, you know. Maybe somebody has come to the realization that there was a lack of appreciation. <laughs> and now they want to they want to make another offer. They want to make a solid offer because this is adding things. This is adding to the to the scale to balance things out. It's putting what you put you putting something in. I'm going to I'm going to put it in to bring balance back. I'm going to put in effort. Or I'm going to give you something that I should have given. Now, with both of these threes, you may not have been these are both reversed. You may not have been getting what you deserved because you weren't putting in effort or something like that. There's been some delays. There's been a lack of foresight. It's like you may you may have been wasting your time. In a situation that had no peace and harmony, there was also a lack of appreciation and respect. Here, there is. There's a lack of appreciation. There's a lack of respect. There's a lack of planning. Somebody wasn't putting in effort or somebody hasn't been putting in effort. That's, that's for sure. And now there's an opportunity to bring balance back and to, this is what, this is now the focus of your reading, the middle card. There's an opportunity to bring balance and harmony and peace and justice even back to a situation. There is. But communication is needed. And you may have, and there may even be an apology with this card very reverse. I know that... <laughs> That's very difficult for Pisces. I'm sorry, but it is. But there's an opportunity for happiness, commitment, marriage. But there's a lack of communication and communication is needed. So this is for November. November, there's an opportunity for wish fulfillment if this man, we have a man here, and I know a lot of you are going to want to change it and make it fit your heart, but I am not that reader, okay? We have a man here that has the cup of love. If the love is in his hands. And he is conflicted. He wants to make an offer. But he doesn't dare to communicate. Or he's not communicating. He needs to communicate. It looks as though he has experienced some sort of A dissatisfying situation that has made him realize where his happiness is. Now this, I don't even see really, there's an opportunity for commitment in marriage here. There is. With a man and a woman. But other than that, there's really no women here in this part of the reading. This is in a man's hands. We have a man here that probably has walked away because of his ego and perhaps now he has he wants to step out of his shell maybe he has been enlightened but he fears rejection big time he really fears that he will be rejected
he's really been struggling with his ability to communicate. Big struggles with communication. The man has been unable to communicate because of pride. But it looks like he's his, his pride is being like swallowed or something. I know that's hard to fathom, but that's kind of what it looks like. Because he wants happiness. This is, I want happiness. This is happiness as well. I want happiness. So it looks like he is thinking about making an offer to bring balance back to his life. Sixes are about balance and harmony. We got another six. It's the journey towards balance and harmony. It's where you remove yourself from the you know, the troubled waters and you head towards steady land, you head towards happiness, you head towards something more peaceful. So it looks as, and there could be a man going back for his family. You know, we have a woman and a daughter. I don't know. We have a, and he's, he's driving the ship or he's driving the boat. He's in charge. So, you know, it looks like they're, they have an opportunity to get out of this difficult situation. They just have to steer through it. There is an opportunity to get this situation back on track. Because if there's a situation here that's not complete, there's no closure. There's... <laughs> There is. There's, this is something isn't over yet with the world card. It's not over yet, unfortunately. It's not over yet. Um, this is a lesson, okay? It's a lesson that hasn't been learned yet because closure hasn't happened. It's like I'm incomplete. Something is incomplete. And there's a, definitely a lack of harmony. This man has not been at peace. He may have been in denial as well. We have a, he may have. He may have been trying to pretend. I mean, that's what this card is. He may have been ignoring his true feelings, blocking his feelings. Sitting at a fence, sitting on the fence, sitting on the fence. What do I do? What do I do? I think that he has been blocking his uh, true emotions in trying to avoid. Commitment? This is avoiding. This is avoiding commitment? Avoiding, what the hell? But now, perhaps, another six. So we have the three sixes, okay? We do have the three sixes, six, six, six. Journey towards balance and harmony to time of reevaluation. Somebody, we have a man here who has gone through a period of reevaluation. And now it looks like he wants balance and harmony. He wants his peace back. He wants his success back because when something is incomplete and lacks closure, it will eat you alive. Until you do the noble thing. Looks to me as though we have a man here that is. Perhaps, I don't know, finding the confidence to take that mask off and accept the truth. I don't know. I find that hard to believe. Ooh, he may have already lost the opportunity, though. There's a loss opportunity here. Maybe it got thrown away. Golden opportunity got thrown away. 
Only an idiot would do that. This is a golden opportunity being tossed. An opportunity for stability. An opportunity for something long term, an opportunity for security, an opportunity for abundance. Because somebody didn't plan effectively and they lacked respect. With this Three of Pentacles reversed, there was a lack of, in this one too, there was a lack of respect, probably between both parties. And so the opportunity is now, it's still here. Because it's in your reading. It's still here. But it may be out of reach. Or maybe it's been lost. Ooh, but he's thinking about it. He is absolutely thinking about it. This man is thinking about the love of his life. He is. Oh, yes, he is. Good and long and hard, right? He is thinking about the love of his life and the foundation that they built. <laughs> and he's probably pretty discontent as well. He's probably discontent. He's probably in a relationship or he's in a situation now where he's bored. And he wants this love. And, he, and it's like, you see that hand? That's the ace of cups. This is like, he, it's being, it's there for him if he would just take it. He's thinking about it. He wants it. But he's stubborn as hell. Confused. Confused. Oh, Oh my goodness. So we have the Empress. There's a woman now that is beautiful, right? I mean, the Empress is the most beautiful woman, woman of them all. She is. She is. We have this woman here who has experienced pain, who has dealt with the pain, has come out on top and she's the pick of the litter and this man sees it he sees it he may think that the, it's too late that the opportunity is gone but if you see the opportunity is still there it's in the middle it's in the middle it's still there it may be slipping away because you can only fight gravity for so long. It is, it is slipping away. It is definitely slipping away. Because this woman knows her worth. And remember I said there was a lack of respect. This woman will not put up with disrespect. She will not. She knows what she is worth. Her life experience has taught her. It's like that song from Material, it's Material Girl. Oh God, I can't remember the words, but it just came to me. Experience, now they're chasing me. My experience has taught me and now they're chasing me. That's what she is. This woman will not be with a man who does not respect her and cherish her and put her on a pedestal. And because that's who she is, everybody wants her because she knows what she's worth. And therefore, he may feel like he's going to, this is rejection, fear of rejection. This man in this dynamic may fear that he is going to be rejected because now she knows her worth. Imagine that shit. So, Pisces has an opportunity to open their heart and make an offer for love. We have a woman here who doesn't chase. She's beautiful. And she may not trust. She may not trust. She may not trust. She may be like, you know what? <laughs> 
I don't trust you. <laughs> I don't trust you. So if you are a Pisces woman, there is no hurry. Don't rush into something. If it's a solid opportunity, they will communicate with you and they will chase you because you are the Empress. The Empress does not chase. She does not. So if you are a Pisces woman, let this person come to you. If you are a man, if you are a Pisces man, the opportunity is in your hands. You've been thinking about it. You want it. You're scared of rejection. Will she reject you if you are a Pisces man? Will she reject you? I don't know if I should answer that question. I don't know. Will she reject you? Oh, son of a bitch. You know, it's a challenge, right? In the, any card that comes out sideways is a challenge. So it's not reversed. It's not upright. Will this woman reject you? Well, she's definitely going to question you. She is. She's going to have some questions. And this goes for the Pisces woman as well. Ask questions. What happened? She's, there's, there'll be, she'll communicate with you. Absolutely. This woman will communicate with you. And she is absolutely going to want to know why you said what you said. And it could be a little uncomfortable. It could be a little uncomfortable. But she's also optimistic. Because the Queen of Swords is optimistic. And she is open to seeing things from a new perspective. So, will she reject you? She may. Or she may not. She will use her intuition. She will definitely communicate with you. But she may feel like you're untrustworthy. So we have a woman here that may feel like she's been cheated as well. You cheated me. You cheated me. You lied to me. Oh. And now she may be, she may, she may feel like, uh -huh. this is unreal. I don't, this is unreal. Unreal. The queen of coins is upright. She's queen of reality. Reverse. She's, this is unreal. It's unreal. She may feel like this is unreal. And you notice, look at this. Okay. So, Pisces, if you're a Pisces man, you have a choice between two women. You do. Just got to say that. If you are a Pisces woman, you probably have a man that is thinking about making an offer to you. But you need to know what you're worth and not chase this person. Let this person come after you. You are worthy and there is an opportunity for a renewal in love here for both parties. There is. There's an opportunity for a renewal. A rebirth. There is. Of a love situation. There is an opportunity. Somebody wants to go back. 
Somebody wants to go back for what they left, and that's the damn truth. This has to do with the reconciliation, and I know a lot of you don't want to hear that, but that is exactly what this is. Somebody wants to go back, but they fear rejection. But they're thinking about it a whole lot. And we have the woman here that is probably going to be like, I... <laughs> this is unbelievable. This is unreal. But she can be swayed. She can be swayed because she's optimistic. And she is open to seeing things from a new perspective. Looks like Pisces is about to, is trying to get unstuck. They have been enlightened. Pisces. Getting unstuck, ready to face the struggle, ready to face the questions. Well, I hope so, because there's definitely going to be some. There's been a lot of arguments. And perhaps somebody went down the road with the wrong one. To become enlightened? Sometimes that's what it takes. To get into a false contract to become enlightened. Somebody may have, you know, there may have been even some cheating. And you maybe you don't, maybe it, you know, I don't know. There may have been some cheating or somebody got into a relationship or something like that. And it wasn't compatible and now they want to come back. I don't know. Yeah, somebody's coming out of darkness. Somebody has seen the light. They have. They've been enlightened about where their heart lies. And that's exactly what this is. So Pisces, I know this is not what you want to hear. A lot of you. Some of you do. Some of you don't. Some of you are in complete denial. You, you want to hear it, but you tell the world that you don't. That's exactly what that is. I'm going to tell everybody that I don't want this. That's exactly what this is. But deep down, it is. So, for Pisces, there's an opportunity for somebody to go back. They want to go back. What they fear, rejection. But is there new love coming in for Pisces? Is there new love coming in for Pisces? Two cards. Is there new love coming in for Pisces? I think it's a reconciliation. I don't think there's new love because I think there's a reconciliation here. There's that golden opportunity, that ace of coins that somebody has been in denial about. There's an opportunity for a long-term commitment. If somebody could stop pretending and unblock their heart. Step outside of their ego and go after what their heart and happiness is, you know. Follow your happiness. Follow your heart. This is a card of consequences as well. There's been some consequences and this is bad karma upright. There's been some there's been some secrets here. Somebody has been oh, whatever. There's an opportunity for happiness, commitment, love, marriage, but it's in this man's hands. The very first card. This man has the power. All he has to do is communicate. So, <laughs> Pisces women, you may receive a message from a man. You may receive wish fulfillment. There's an opportunity for happiness here in love. There is. With something long-term and committed. Hmm. 
But you definitely have to make a choice. You have to make a choice between two. There's no doubt. There's a decision that needs to be made between two paths. Do you want it or not? Because it is slipping away with that Ace of Pentacles reverse. It is absolutely, positively, 100% slipping away. And that's a card of consequences as well. If somebody got involved in another relationship, it's going to slip away faster. Because that person gives up the thought of, some, of a reconciliation and they start to play the game as well. The trust gets broken. And trust has been broken here. Trust has been broken. But I think that there's an opportunity for happiness. If you haven't seen this person in a while, you may meet this, see this person at some sort of celebration or gathering. And something happens. Ooh. Have confidence. Moving forward does not necessarily require you to have confidence in yourself. Confidence in God is enough. Along with knowing that God works through you and with you in all ways. Lean upon us if your confidence wavers. And we will buoy your courage and faith. At the bottom of the deck, i got to show it to you. Change in direction. The changes you're experiencing are divinely directed by your newborn willingness to open your heart to love and our guidance. You are protected now and in the future. So follow your path to the happy outcomes you desire. And you know what it is that you want because that's what you've been thinking about. But you've been blocking the truth. <laughs> like that's what the card is. I can't make this shit up. And I know what the truth is, so whatever. Follow your heart. Communicate. If you're a Pisces woman, let them communicate with you. It's up to the man. The man is making the offer, not the woman. Let the man come to you. If you are the empress, you do not chase. That's what I have for November. I think there's an opportunity for happiness and commitment. If you follow your heart, even for, for men or women, and that's what I have. I am going to do the weeklies. Those will be more predictions on love for the week. I'm going to start doing the weeklies again.